This is CNN Breaking News. But let's get to that breaking news happening right now in Oakland, California. A shooting at a university with multiple people killed. In the last few minutes, we've learned that the suspected gunman has been captured. Uh, uh, an affiliate reporter from KPIX, Mark Sear, is joining us right now. Mark, what is the very latest? Well, Wolf, it has been a very sad day here in Oakland this morning. Let's take a look at the university behind us. This is called Oikos Acupuncture. It's a it's a university uh, where there are students apparently learning uh, the art of acupuncture. Unconfirmed reports now that five people have been killed here. We know of at least four who were injured. Uh, what we do not know is was the suspected shooter somehow connected to the university? Was that somebody uh, who perhaps was a student or an employee? You can take a look at the uh, active situation stood on the way behind us. We have a big perimeter uh, set up uh, to continue continue along the lines of the suspect, we do understand that the Oakland police have now detained, and that is the word they are using, is detained, one person who they believe may be responsible for this shooting. It is not being considered an arrest yet, and Oakland police are not saying if there is perhaps a second person uh, who is involved or more. So still a very active situation here, Wolf. Unconfirmed reports, five people dead. We did see some of those people being brought out and uh, put on the ground and put uh, tarps uh, over their body. So uh, still unfolding here, a very sad day in Oakland. Back to you. Mark, what do we know about this person detained for questioning a student, faculty, stranger to the to the school, do we know anything about this person? You know, Wolf, obviously that is the question that we all have, is who is this potential shooter? The shooting did, uh, did occur inside of the building. So from that standpoint, you could surmise that perhaps the person was a student or an employee. But, of course, it is possible that the person just walked in off the street. At this point, Oakland police providing us no details on who exactly this person is, uh, what is the person's relationship to the, uh, to the school, to the university. And the fact that they're not even using the term arrest is also interesting. Just somebody that's being questioned at this point, but there has been a loosening just in the past few minutes of the actual crime scene here, so that would lead us to believe that police are uh, scaling down a little bit and perhaps they believe that they do have uh, their man. But again, unconfirmed reports of five people dead. Uh, we've seen those people, but unfortunately the police have not officially said that yet, so we have to use the word unconfirmed, but you could clearly see the bodies coming out and being put on the ground and the body bags being put over them. Wolf. Yeah, five people confirmed dead. Do we know what kind of weapon was used? Uh, was it a handgun? Was it an assault or a rifle or anything along those lines? Not a single piece of information on the weapon that's involved. Uh, what the police have been doing just in the last 15 minutes is they've been actually going into the building to make sure that there are not more people, perhaps students of the university, you know, hiding in closets, people that need to be evacuated, uh, or perhaps if there's a second uh, a gunman in there. So uh, that is what they've been focusing on is getting people out. Uh, four people taken to local hospitals. So at minimum, at least nine people involved with some sort of injuries, uh, likely five fatalities by the time it's confirmed, uh, four injuries. Injuries, what kind of weapon? We just don't know. Mark Sayre of our affiliate KPIX on the scene. We'll check back with you, Mark. But it's a good thing that it looks like they're, they're scaling back if, in fact, they have arrested the suspect involved in this, uh, this mass killing. I must say five individuals confirmed dead. Brian Snow uh, is, is, is on the campus over there, was walking by apparently. Brian, uh, you're joining us on the phone right now. Tell us uh, what, what you saw, what you're hearing, what your role, what your involvement in the school is. So uh, I was inside my credit union, and I was just trying to make do my normal run at the credit union. And I heard my auntie was outside. See, there was a shooting. But uh, in Oakland, sometimes things like that happen, but it doesn't. It dies over. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really affect a lot of people. But then when I went outside, and then the cops were telling me, "Don't move, don't move," and, and it just started getting chaotic. And then I heard some shooting out there, and I saw like a uh, I saw a pedestrian come out with a bullet hole on. And I was like, "It's getting really crazy right now." Are you a student? Are you a student at that school? Oh, no, I'm not a student at any school around here. I was, I was just at the credit union. I came outside and went to go check on my auntie, make sure she was okay, try to bring her back, but they won't let me bring her back because the place was shut down. Yeah, so you, you just were there. You gave us a little flavor of what was going on. Uh, a very, very deadly situation. Five, uh, uh, we believe, are dead. Uh, we don't know their students, faculty, or who they were. Uh, but we, we do believe now, based on the reporting that we got from Mark Sarver, uh, affiliate KPIX, it looks like the suspect has been detained by police. Uh, Brian, thanks very much for calling in. Uh, Tom Foreman is going on. Tom, set the scene for us. Where is the school? I know it's not far from Oakland and San Francisco. Sure. It's Northern California, of course. San Francisco over here across the bay is Oakland. Let's move into uh, 
Oikos University here and get an idea of the lay of the land up here. Um, this is an area that seems to be largely used for businesses and or education. Here is the university lit up here. Not a very big place. You can see those are cars right there. So it's not a huge complex here. Uh, their website says that they seem to focus most of all on, on uh, Christian students teaching a Christian approach to health care, music, some other things like that, focused on the Korean community here. And of course, in the Korean community in this country, uh, Christianity is one of the big prevalent religions. But the area around here includes, uh, for example, a high school not terribly far away. There are several businesses around here that deal with environmental measures. There's a jail down the road, that sort of thing, a superior court here. There's some schools that teach avionics, like airplane sort of matters. So this really is very much a business sort of community. As a reporter mentioned a minute ago, Maybe it's actually connected to this school that had happened here, but there are also many other places around here that could have been a target if you're talking about a general gunman roaming through the area. A little more sense of here. This is a, a, a tribute park to Martin Luther King out here on the water. And of course, here is the arena, the Coliseum, where the Raiders play uh, and the athletics. So it's an idea of what that area would be like and where this happened this afternoon. Not many homes until you go quite some different away from Oikos University here, Wolf. And we're still trying to find out exactly how many students were in the building when all of this began. Wolf. All right, uh, Tom Foreman, uh, thanks very much. Paul Verkemen is out of the West Coast in Los Angeles following what's going on. You're getting additional information as well, Paul. What are you learning? Well, we've heard from our affiliate KTVU that the uh, death toll has reached five in this case. Also, we know that five people have been brought to Highland Hospital. And a little bit more about Oikos University, as you heard Tom explain. It's sort of in the warehouse district in the East Oakland area, and it's not a huge university. And among other things on their website, they talk about that it focuses on acupuncture, nursing, theology. It seems to be more of a vocational school. Some very tense moments. We believe that the uh, gunman entered the school. They said that he was a suspected to be a Korean male in his 40s. And this uh, all took place at about 10.30 this afternoon. Let's take a brief listen to what police had to say earlier this uh, today. A gunman came into the college and fired multiple shots. We do have fatalities. I cannot confirm the number of fatalities we have at this time. We additionally have uh, victims who have suffered from gunshot wounds. I cannot confirm the numbers at this time. So a suspect is believed to be in custody at this time. You may have heard, they're not sure about the number of fatalities, but as we said, our affiliate KTVU reporting that five people are dead and the number of wounded uh, remains in question right now, Wolf. Paul Verkamen and I is going to continue to follow this story. We'll stay on top of it as well. He says five confirmed dead, others injured, taken to hospitals. The suspect, we believe, is in police custody right now. No idea of any motive or anything along, along those lines. We'll stay on top of this story.